Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 Welcome to the Dartmoor Garden Show. So this is a permanent event that's taking place in Hitman 3 currently. Taking place in Dartmoor, of course. And it is an escalation, however you can replay it after you've completed the entire escalation. And you can choose whatever targets you want to. So the main gimmick of this is going to be, the target is going to be randomised. However, I'm going to in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to take out all four targets. And the final three targets in the final level. I'm going to show you how to take out each one as if you are doing it from scratch. And I'm not going to use any equipment either for either of the first four targets anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the plan. And I'm going to show you uh, target by target. So whatever target you have that shows up for your number one, you can always take it out. So I'm not going to use any equipment for this. All we're going to use is, well, we are going to technically use equipment. We're going to use a pistol. But other than that, uh, we're not using anything else. So our first target we're going to focus on is Ken uh, Takuchi, or uh, however you pronounce his name. They're going to be very difficult names to pronounce in this uh, escalation, but that's the target we're going for right now. It's not showing up the top left corner purely because you know I'm on the, uh, on the I'm on that game mode where you can select whatever target you want to, but you can only unlock that after you've completed the entire escalation. So it just gives me a better opportunity to showcase this a little bit better and show you a guide a little bit easier as well so overall ken is a, the trickiest target out of all four of them in this area so what we're tending basically going to do is take care of the only opportunity that we can clearly see on this area and that's going to be dropping that chandelier on his head or the cage or whatever it is bird cage or whatever but we're going to drop that on his head and we're going to wait for him to come back into around his area his loop is random where he walks so you just got to basically wait and be patient really until he eventually comes over so after a while, what you want to do is wait for him to lean over there in that direction and just go ahead and shoot the uh, the birdcage or whatever it is. And then you'll be able to exit the level. So what exit I would recommend is taking the boat exits and to find the boat exit, all you need to do is go and get a key on the table to the left. I don't know why I came through this greenhouse. Didn't need to. There's a key right here on this table. So what we're going to do is just go straight to the boat and we are finished for this particular target. We're going to move on to the next one. Uh, so yeah, that's how you basically take it out and that's how you get a silent assassin rating for that. So let's move on to the next target. So the next target is Evelyn Crane. So if that's the person you have to go for for level 1, this is how you get to her. So for Evelyn Crane, what we're going to need to do is basically... We're going to electrocute her for this particular one. And it's not that difficult. We're just basically going to let her set up a trap. Again, we don't need any equipment. We're not going to use any. So first things first, we need to go and get ourselves a gardener's disguise. And you will find one uh, just over here at the start. The guy will be fishing. So it gives us a nice convenient uh, early opportunity to get a gardener's disguise. That's going to allow us to sabotage things without getting without getting any NPCs suspicious or anything like that. So it's a good disguise to have on this particular mission. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that gardener's disguise. I'm going to grab his fish as well because I like fish. And what we're going to do is go over to the other side of this entire garden. So Evelyn's going to be uh, talking to Stuyvesant. She's going to be drinking some tea. So if you want to bring some poison along with you, leave the poison at one. You can go ahead and poison her tea if you wanted to go down that direction. I decided to not use equipment for this. So that's the reason why I'm going down this route. Just in case you don't have any lethal poison anyway. So yeah. We're going to go and grab a screwdriver from this bench over here. Just grab that. And then we're going to go into this area. And Evelyn's going to be talking to Stuyvesant at this point in time. So we're going to wait to sabotage first because we need to time this right. Otherwise we'll electrocute ourselves and we don't want that to happen. So Also we don't want to distract anyone else with the faucet that we're going to open up a little bit later on. This guy is standing right in front of us. So again we don't want to jump the gun or anything like that. So we're just going to wait for this conversation to play out. She's going to walk away and that's when we're going to go on sabotage. So at this point in time, we're just going to turn the faucet on. Evelyn is going to come back over here at this area eventually. So there's a puddle of water that's being created on the floor just like that. And we're going to sabotage this lamp to the left. So we're going to wait for her to get distracted by the, uh, the sound of the water flow. She's going to come over to investigate. And once she's walking onto the puddle, that's when you go ahead and sabotage the lamp. 
And that will electrocute her and that will be an accident kill. So that will take care of Evelyn Crane. And just like we did with the first target, we're going to go and get those uh, boat well, keys. Sir. So to go get that, we're going to pass through this greenhouse. Just to avoid that gardener and enforcer. And the key is just going to be on here. So grab the key. Head straight to the exit of the boat over here. And that's how you take out Evelyn Crane. So you'll also get a silent assassin rating for this, of course. As usual. So let's move on to the next target. So the next target is going to be Golshan Yazdani. So he is probably the easiest one out of the four possible targets you can have. So if you are going trying to go for an easy way of getting through this, then this is the guy you want to get through. Um, so from the very start, we're going to circle around to the right. The only bit of equipment we're going to use for this is the pistol. Use any suppressed pistol you want to. It doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm only using the gold baller because I haven't used it in a video before. So we're going to use that now. And it's just simple, really. Head over to this area over here. There we go. Easy for me to say. Pull out your pistol. Shoot the wall just about here. That's going to distract the target. If you do it any closer, then it's going to distract a different person. So you want to make sure you do shoot that wall. That's going to trigger him to come over here. I would recommend shoot him, just shoot him in the head because it's a lot quicker. But what I do here is just subdue him and then snap his neck. If you snap his neck in the subdued, you could potentially lure someone else over from the noise. So I wouldn't recommend that. So shoot him in the head or just subdue him, then snap his neck. And then drag his body here because there is a housekeeper that comes over this area. So there's an exit right next to us as well, just over to your left. So it's obviously the, well, clearly is the fastest one out of all of them as well. So again, if you are trying to go for an easy target for the first level, I would recommend Golshan. It's the easiest one out of the lot. And of course, you get a silent assassin rating as well, as usual. But uh, it only leaves like one target left, and her name is Monon Bolio or something like that. I don't really know how to say her name. But let's get a confirmation that silent assassin. Let's move on to the final target because she's nice and easy as well. So Monon Bolio is the last target. So what we need to do is uh, we're going to electrocute her, which will be the second out of the four that we electrocuted. There is a separate challenge for five targets being electrocuted but we're going to cover that in a separate video anyway i just wanted to get this one out first but what we're going to do is yeah we're going to electrocute her like i said now this would be a little bit easier if you used a micro taser but we're just going to use a car battery for this one so here's the target so go, go ahead and bump into her just to slow her down just run into her just bump into her shoulder that just uh, slows her down a little bit it makes things a little bit easier for a little bit later on then we're going to grab this car battery right here off the crate and then we're going to go back towards the target us herself. She's going to be chilling just right next to our hose. We're going to turn that hose on and then we're going to throw the car battery in that puddle. But we have to make sure that we don't get spotted as we're throwing the car battery. So keep that in mind. So I'm just going to head over here now. Turn on the faucet. Turn it back off. Don't want any unnecessary attention. Crouch run into this bush over here and throw the car battery as close to the puddle as you can. Huh? Stay in this bush until the white dots on the uh, minimap go black. Once they do that, you can exit the bush and then head to whatever exit you want to. And the reason for that is if you exit straight away, they'll automatically assume that it was you that, that did that cause that accident. So I would recommend just staying in that bush until the blips turn black again. So the exit we're choosing to go to is the one on the opposite side of the map over here. The reason for that is we have to go and get a key for the other one, so I think this is more faster and convenient. And it's just over here anyway, so it's not too far away. So once we head over here, we can get an easy silent assassin for this target as well. So again, I've shown you all four targets. All four of them, any, you can have the potential to have any of the four. And I've got you covered on any of the bases there. So I've left chapters as well, so you can pick whatever target you want to. And for level two, it will, it will be the same thing. So the final two targets, uh, you can use the, use these this guide to cover level two as well. So for that reason, I'm not covering level two. So for level three, you're going to have potentially three different targets. Two out of the three, I should say. And I'm going to show you a method to take out all three of them. Uh, so you'll, I'll have you cover at all, covered on all bases. This time we are bringing equipment though. We are bringing on a lethal poison vial. And we're going to bring the lethal uh, syringe as well. So you want to go and bring those two in and I'm going to bring along a pistol as well. So I'm going to show you a method to take out all three of them. 
and I'm going to do it all in one run. So either way, whichever two out of the three targets you can do, just follow that. So from the very start, I'm going to go over to this van, pick up the wrench and pick up the uh, Bransom ND2 microphone. So if you're going for a Sebastian Sato, you want to make sure you do grab that microphone. That is really important because that's what we're going to use to take him out for another electrocution kill. So that is the important part about that. Lucy Phillips is an incredibly easy target as well. So I'm going to show you that uh, probably... No, I need to go and get myself a disguise first. That's, that's, what, that's what I've got to do. I almost forgot. So we need to go and grab ourselves a, a housekeeper disguise. I think that's the name of the outfit. Because that allows us to poison and do some illegal actions. And that allows us to get on stage as well, illegally, without getting spotted. So the game presents you with an opportunity to take this guy out here. Because um, he, he basically is by himself. He's all alone. It's the game giving you the opportunity to grab this disguise. Stands out like a sore thumb. So what we're going to do is knock him out. So we're going to wait until we get to the end of this walkway. And we're going to hit him in the head. And then hide him in the, the garden shredder. But we're not going to turn it on. You don't want to do that. So we're going to smack him in the head. Drag him and put him in the, uh, the garden shredder. Go ahead and grab his disguise. So this allows us to do quite a lot of stuff that we need to do. So there's Lucy Phillips there. So if she is your target then you want to make sure you are going to poison this plate of food right here. So put your lethal poison in that. That will take care of Lucy in a few seconds. And as for Sebastian Sato, just climb up here, increase the voltage on this, and then swap the microphone over. So when Sato goes over onto the stage and he grabs his microphone, he's going to get electrocuted. So that's two targets. Now if... Neither, if uh, if one of your targets is Cornelia, Cornelia Stuyvesant, she will be over here around the two minute mark. She's going to exit this area to her left and that gives us a little bit of a window to take her out with a syringe. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. So we're just going to wait for her to turn left and move a little bit further forward and that's when we're going to stab her with a syringe. Right here. Because it's a poison kill as well, uh, even if all these bodies are found, it's not going to spoil your silent assassin rating, because it's both of them. We use two poison kills, and we use one accident kill. Next, we're going to go and grab the uh, the boat key over here. Exit via the boat, and that gives us a silent assassin rating for level 3. And like I said, with Sebastian Sado as well, it takes a couple of more minutes for him to go on stage and get electrocuted, but that's how you take out all of the three targets, so... Pick two out of the three, whatever you have for level three. I've shown you all three methods there, so I've got all bases covered. Again, there's no point in me doing level two either because I've shown you how to take out all the four of the targets for level one anyway, so you just do a combination of both of those. And that's it. Also, the servers are very slow today, I've noticed as well. They're getting a lot of this loading, loading, loading stuff. But yeah, just wanted to show you a sign assassin rate before I wrap up the video. So overall Dartmoor is, this Dartmoor changes is actually pretty good, I enjoyed this escalation, I think it was one of the better ones, definitely. I just wish it was a more of a, a mission rather than just an escalation, it's a bit of a letdown that the fact that it's just an escalation, but at least you'll be able to make contracts on this as well, so I really like the cool changes of this. So there we go, so thank you very much for watching, feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it, or if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified of more future videos and live streams, consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I want to say a big shout out to all my Psycho Assassin members as well. I really do appreciate you all. And that includes Paul Lilly, Bedry, Arjal, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, Isaiah Blake, Tenega74 and Rand Fike. Becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members, I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.